Pretty little fish. <laughs> First cast in there, the little rocks. I don't know. That's uh, eh. he might make 16. I don't know though. He's, he'd be close. He'd be close. That's what I'm throwing today. Well, one of many things I'm throwing today. A and R custom spinner baits and tackle out of Pennsylvania. Man, just beautiful, beautiful spin baits. Very fortunate to um, hook up with Randy and he sent me a couple samples to, to, to try out. And uh, man, I, when I took them out of the pack, instantly impressed with the craftsmanship of the baits, the, uh, the color patterns that he, uh, that he picked for me. I kind of gave him a, kind of gave him a little list of things that I like to throw and, and man, he sent me some beautiful baits. It's a little overcast today or a lot overcast today, I guess. The sun breaks, bla breaks in the clouds. Three eighths ounce spinner bait, got a little chartreuse in there, a little purple, two, two of my favorite colors. Uh, we got some willow leaf blades with the gold main blade and then the second blade on it is silver. I like the gold when it's a little overcast. And as you can see, it works. <laughs> there we go. One little dude in the boat anyway. All right. How far off did we drift? Okay, not bad. It's so kind of what I do with, with my boat is, uh, I don't use spot lock as much in the river, that much in the river, honestly. I, I, I hold my position with the heading and then I match the speed of my trolling motor to the river. That seems to hold the boat a lot better. And uh, I can keep the same line. So I can drift the line, speed the motor up, go back upstream, drift the same line, and I can do that a couple times. So that's what I was doing there. That fish was probably in two feet of water, maybe. And the boat is sitting in about eight and a half right now. So let's take a couple more casts in there. Pretty good fish right there. Got him on. Smoked it as soon as he hit the water. <laughs> Must have thrown it on his head. That's a mean one. He ain't that big, but he's mean. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't big, but he was a mean one. <laughs> I 
he uh he smoked it as soon as it hit the water i, I thought I, I thought i must have threw it right on a rock or something and uh i don't know that's a 15 and a half maybe ain't not even worth getting the board out but <clears throat> man throwing that a and r custom jig man what a beautiful color i really like this it's like a copper um uh, i'm guessing this is like a crawl type color it's got uh copper flakes in it i really like it i'll make sure i put in the video exactly what the color combo for this is i would definitely this this is like a clear with uh black and copper uh flake in it same with that uh grub trailer orange tail he smoked it man <laughs> He was fighting above his weight. I'll give him that. <laughs> so let me. Uh... Nice wall off. That's a keeper. There was one in there somewhere. All right, as a keeper wall off. Shout out to all the hatchery workers in Brookneal, Virginia. They're doing a great job uh, on the Standing River, especially. We've seen some great results from the work you guys have put in stocking the wall off. So, uh, Many thanks to you guys. We're out here today trying to find some uh, smallmouth, hoping to catch some walleye, some bycatch though. Definitely gonna target walleye looking uh, spots and uh, maybe pick up, pick up a couple striped bass or stripers, we'll see. There we go, that's a keeper, but we're gonna let her go. We're gonna let her go. We'll let another fisherman get that one. All right, figured there was one in here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm fishing over there, I guess. Take another shot at it. 